Next up is an elegant version of a workplace trend. Hi Sharks, my name is Mike Bolos. And my name is Jason Grahowski. We're from Chicago, Illinois, and our company is DeskView. We're here seeking $150,000 for 7.5% equity. Sharks, we are living in the age of glass. New buildings, both residential and commercial, they're all glass. Those drywall conference rooms are now glass fish bowls. Closed off office spaces are now open concept layouts. With all this glass, where do you work? You can sit at your standard desk, hunched over like a Neanderthal, or you can create your own personal standing desk and have the best view in the office with DeskView. <laughs> in the office, DeskView works great on external and internal glass walls, freeing you from your desk. At home, DeskView is the ultimate minimalist standing desk. You can move DeskView to wherever you want to work, in the office or at home. Want to eat breakfast while watching the sunrise? Use a DeskView. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> to uninstall, simply pull the levers and DeskView comes off. Look, Sharks, no marks. The install is just as easy. Ah. DeskView is over-engineered. Made with aerospace-grade aluminum housings and industrial-grade suction discs, DeskView is safe on glass, can stay on for years on a single install, and hold more weight than you'd ever need. Want to prove it? Sure. Don't try this at home. We are trained professionals. Oh, my god. Glass? Really? Wow. wow. We want your help to bring desk view to every window around the world. So who wants to come up and try it for themselves? And who wants to help me down? <laughs> Can it go anywhere that's not glass? So we have a couple photos. Desk view works like melamine top surfaces, tile. So it works on a steel case. Smooth and non-porous yeah. surface. Oh, you can yeah. use it in the bathroom. It, exactly. Yes, it so works. that's Marble. one of the uses. It works oh, on OK, so it's it not on just glass. Stone. Right. Smooth and non-porous surface to create that suction. And how does it actually attach? It's suction force. So what we did is we took the strongest suction disc in the industry, and then we recreated and built the housings for it and built some new mechanisms around it. What and do so, you sell them for, and what, what does it cost to make Yeah, them? and how many have you sold? The white and the bamboo, those are minimalist and are natural. They retail for $235. Our, $235? Yes. And our clear baller wow. retails for $265. And what are your costs? And how many have you sold? We've sold $800 to date. $800,000? 800 units. In how many years? We just received our inventory in April of 2018. You didn't mention what, you, what they cost to make. Yes. So our costs are currently $80 landed for the units, but I've been on an absolute binge reducing our costs over the last couple of months and I have them down about 25 to 30 percent. But you have great margins, 80 yeah. versus 235. Yeah, why are why you doing better? such a high margin? Because you don't need to. And, you know, for a desk like this, like, it, it seems pretty expensive, right? This is actually one of the lowest priced desks that you can get right. in an office oh, environment. True. So when we talk to people in offices, they're actually blown away about how inexpensive it is compared to everything else. Yours is 235. What's a typical stand-up desk? I just don't know what it is. I mean, your typical full standing desk can range from $500 anywhere up to $2,000. Oh, so thousands of dollars. Yeah, exactly. they're really yeah. expensive. We're kind of that add-on into your office, or especially in the apartment, in your studio apartment, we're kind of the only option for a standing desk. So, Mike, you've sold mostly? about $70,000 altogether, $80,000. We're at about 162,000. This month we'll close 100,000. And that was all on your own. Oh, this month you're going to do 100,000. We're going to do 100,000. What happened? So we started marketing in the direct to consumer space, but strictly on our website. What we started noticing is companies were buying dozens of units. So at that time, we realized, okay, let's um, focus on the B2B market. There was a big large furniture expo in Chicago. We didn't have $10,000 to throw out for a booth, so we got scrappy and we put up four desk views on the side of a coffee shop. And so that was in the Smart. main thoroughfare. There were people coming out of the coffee shop. They knew exactly what to do. They were using Makes it, as you can see. Makes them stand there. Tell us about you guys. How did you come up with this? I uh, got my BS um, with studies at Cornell, Harvard, and Oxford, and then went on and got my JD MBA at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, went on, practiced three years in commercial litigation, and then three years in corporate transactional law. I got put inside an office that I just couldn't put a standing desk in. I eventually went to the doctor, and my doctor said, Mike, you have tendonitis everywhere from the hip down. It was from sitting down. I mean, we're, we're cranking 80, 100 hour plus weeks regularly, and I was just stuck sitting. 
But I had these floor to ceiling windows because we were in a downtown office. I was like, that's perfect. So I started building, tinkering. I did the first 18 prototypes with $200 in cash. Good for you. So there was some demand, especially in my office. Everyone's like, what is that? Where did you get that? Started selling those a little bit. And it was actually about that time that I met Jason. Yeah, so uh, we met through a mutual friend and he showed me the initial prototype of this and immediately it clicked in my head because I spent the past six years working with companies, talking to executives. We want standing desks, our employees are demanding them, but they're so expensive. You're a furniture guy, Jason. Uh, commercial real estate broker. I don't know if I see it as a desk. The surface area is just too small. One, one second, I'll actually show you another one that, because I never stop working on innovation. But I, over time, the square foot per employee in company offices has gone from 250 square feet down to 120. Yeah, That's right. I, I, I don't disagree with you. That's why so people deeper. want to stand. Yeah. So th this guy I call the big baller. Um, the big baller. <laughs> 14 inches deep. Yeah, so we added a couple more inches for those what that have price larger is that laptops. Gonna be? We're going to price that at 275. Can I speak from a perspective of an employer? When I built my offices, I was meticulous about the design and hated it when my salespeople even put their kids in frames on their desk shelves. It just messed the whole place up. You spend tons of money, you want a gorgeous corporate office, and then people start bringing their tchotchke. I hated it. Uh, to a corporate client, B2B, which is your specific model, it's you want someone to buy 50 of them. Could you imagine 50 of these along the plate glass windows of an office building, Midtown Manhattan? It's Good terrible. Point. I see it as a consumer, individual sale market. I really do. So I don't believe, frankly, in any of the directions you're going in. So I'll have to graciously step out. I think it's a beautifully designed product. You've obviously put an incredible amount of work on it. It's so sturdy. But, you know, I'm kind of sitting here and I wouldn't use that as a desk. I can't get there, I'm out. Thank you. I mean, I can see that as a compliment. I mean, you know, to my desk or in my office or someone's coming in from the outside, keeping two of them in a the closet mm -hmm. and setting them up where needed. But, you know, I, I agree with Barb that I see these more in the home, so for those reasons, I'm out. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. I prefer this selling directly to consumers online. The margins are pretty good. I don't mind exploring the, um, the whole thing B2B, but you're gonna find out how tough that is. And it just, it just sucks cash. Look, I'll make you an offer. Wow. wow. I'll give you the 150,000, I want 15%. Thank you for the offer. I don't see it as a permanent desk for somebody using it all day long, but I thought it was really interesting. I actually think for commercial space, like, you know, there's never enough room at a Starbucks or this or that. I thought that was really smart, but I don't like your price point. I've done a lot of products over the years, and the one thing I know is things that soar, things that really do great, are things that are a good idea that people like, but if you can give it to them at an affordable price, if they're on the fence at all, they're gonna buy it. I respect the margin that you feel you wanna make. The big question is, is really how low can it go? So with what I've been able to do over the past couple of months, plus the volume-based discounts, we should be at around $45 landed, $46 landed. So you can cut it in half. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm gonna give you a really sharky offer. I would wanna be a third partner. 33 percent. 150,000 for 33 and a third percent. Ouch. Wow. Because Ooh. I feel like we'd have to go to a million factories and cost this out where it could be something where we'll sell hundreds of thousands of units, not thousands. There's blood in the water now, Mike. Well, Ian, and with our, with the projections of these, you know, multi-billion dollar distributors that we're talking to. I mean, they're saying they'll move 900 units a month next year. They're salespeople. They tell you I don't, what you want to hear. But here's the difference. I don't want them moving 900. I want them moving 90,000. So you guys know, the more I think about this, the more I listen to Lori, I'm modifying my offer. I'm going up to 20%. <laughs> so I'll give you, I'll give you the uh, 150,000 for 20%. This isn't uh, going to be easy, because I think it's got to be 99 bucks. I'm willing to take a flyer. 150,000, 20%. You can do Lori's deal for 150,000 for 33 and a third. You guys have to make a decision. Lori, would you do 20%? But you want me to put the value add? I mean, I know it's gonna be some heavy lifting from my end. Mm -hmm. I know that because I've done it again and again and again.
Kevin, we'll take your offer for 20%. Wow. Wow. Surprising. I just felt Thank like, you, like wow. you were the only one I left. Congrats. <laughs> we're excited. Wow. That surprised me. That really surprised me. Why would they want to do business with Kevin? You're the perfect partner. Well, she wanted one third. I wanted a third.